the world is a big, scary place. Like, it's terrifying. Especially when there are nasty predators around every corner. But the animals we're going to talk about aren't letting predators get in their way. Some of them are cute animals, some are gross animals, and some are just totally weird animals. But evolution gave all these critters crazy ways to keep themselves safe, safe and uneaten. Mostly, they're about not getting eaten by other, bigger animals. Anyway, these insane animal defense mechanisms will blow your mind, and they'll probably also remind you of just how fantastic and scary nature can be. Hello, wonderful people. I'm Gail Cruz from Wonderbot Animals, and here is Animal Defense Mechanisms That Prove Nature is Beautiful and Terrifying. Hairy Frog You may recognize the hairy frog in its mutton chop like body hair from its appearance in 17,000 X-Men movies. When hairy frogs need to blank somebody up, they push their toe bones through their skin to create barb-like claws. No word on whether or not one of these sharp little amphibians has tricked itself out of adamantium yet. Slow Loris the slow loris doesn't have much going for it protection-wise at first glance, but they've got some tricks up their sleeve. And by tricks up their sleeve, I mean they have toxic glands on the inside of their elbows that they lick and rub all over their body, making them not so fun to take a bite out of. The toxin combined with their saliva makes their bites nasty too. They can even send humans into anaphylactic shock. Sea Cucumber a lot of animals play dead to avoid being attacked or eaten, but sea cucumbers take this ruse to a whole new level. To convince predators that they're really truly dead, sea cucumbers contract their muscles so hard that some of their organs temporarily pop out of their anuses. Sea cucumbers also think this is a hilarious party trick, but their friends are pretty over it. Pangolin the pangolin may look more like an enchanted pine cone than an animal, but I swear this is not the newest character from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. The pangolin has super powerful claws, but almost never uses them for self-defense. Instead, when threatened, the pangolin delivers a brutal blow to predators by swinging its heavy and razor-sharp scale-covered tail. The pangolin can also curl its body into a nearly impenetrable ball that has even been seen rolling down hills at rapid speeds to get away from predators. Horned Lizard Horned lizards aren't satisfied with just stopping predators from eating them. Oh no, they want to scare the shit out of them while they're doing it. When all else fails, horned lizards constrict a muscle near a major vein that cuts off blood flow to the heart and redirects it all to the head eventually causing blood to squirt out of their eyes. In a weird turn of events, this is the same tactic horn lizards used to get dirt out of their eyes. Ever heard of Visine, guys? Possum. You'd think that looking like Satan's idea of a lapdog would keep predators at bay, but sometimes being terrifyingly hideous just isn't enough to keep a girl safe. We all know that possums play dead, but they have another, lesser-known trick to thoroughly convince predators that they will not make a good meal. These trash monsters can work up massive amounts of saliva until they're literally blowing spit bubbles out of their nose and slobbering everywhere. This makes it look even sicker than it normally does, which turns all but the most desperate animals off. Northern Fulmar Northern Fulmars apparently have better things to do than hang out with their kids. Luckily, northern fulmar chicks are well-equipped with a tactic for keeping their cute, fluffy little bodies uneaten. When strangers come a-knockin', the chicks spew an oily orange substance that smells like rotten fish all over the unlucky wannabe baby snatcher. When the predators, usually other birds, try to flee the scene of the stench, the oily puke on their feathers makes it almost impossible to fly, often causing them to plummet into the ocean and drown. Pato the Pado is potentially the cutest and fuzziest primate you've ever seen. It's also definitely the primate with the weirdest defense mechanism. Pados have an elongated vertebrae covered in sharp growths that almost pierce the skin on the back of their necks. These neck growths make the Pado hard to swallow and protect it from being bitten in a typically vulnerable area. 
Plus, when it's threatened, the pato can tuck its head and ram its sharp bony neck into the attacker. Cute, fuzzy, fierce AF. Pygmy Sperm Whale Escaping predators in the ocean often involves making it hard for the predator to see. When pygmy sperm whales feel threatened, they release intestinal syrup and then swim away really fast. The movement of their tail, combined with the reddish-brown gut sauce, stirs up a nice foggy poop cloud to conceal their getaway. Nothing makes you want to pass on lunch like having to swim through a poop cloud to get it. Am I right? Hagfish When a hagfish is attacked, it secretes a slime that expands in salt water and is so tough that the U.S. Navy has been researching ways to use it to protect ships against torpedoes. When this slime gets into the mouth and gills of hungry predators, it chokes and suffocates them. Worst snack ever. Dormouse. These gross little cuties have a one-time only get out of death trick that has helped them evade many a mouse trap. When the dormouse gets its tail caught in something, the skin on the tail will come loose and fully detach from the rest of the body, allowing the mouse to escape. This trick leaves an exposed tailbone that the mouse will often gnaw off because the skin never grows back. Iberian Ribbed Newt Iberian Ribbed Newts are the poster child for maybe taking it a little too far. When they feel threatened, they push their ribs, yes, their actual ribs, through their skin to act as an extra layer of protection. Their pierced skin also produces a toxin that their ribs get coated in, which makes taking a bite out of these weirdos even less appetizing. Platypus The platypus is a weirdo that was thought to be a made-up creature for a large chunk of history. This definitely, totally real, egg-laying mammal has retractable spurs in each back leg that produce enough venom to kill a large dog. Interestingly, only the male platypus has this defense mechanism, which has led some people to believe that it's used less as a protection against other animals and more to determine which male platypus will have the privilege of mating with the sweet lady platypus.